This is a lesson I have been meaning to do for years. Steve Hackett's tune from Genesis's, Genesis's, the album by Genesis, Foxtrot, their fourth album, um, that had some very cool tunes on it. Followed Nursery Crime, and this was one of the pieces, of course this was a solo guitar piece. Steve still plays it, you can find all kinds of videos of him at uh, various concerts breaking it out and of course the crowd loves it because this opened up side two with this short little minute and a half classical semi-classical guitar piece that borrowed a lot from Bach. This a line right out of a Bach cello prelude that was also done, uh, well Walter Gervick did it on the loop so um, anyway so the uh, the piece it's very short opens up with these nice harmonics there's a lot borrowed from Bach all that little stuff in there too and um, we're gonna take a look at pretty much exactly the way he plays it because he plays it pretty consistently even now with just a couple of minor little tweaks so uh, I really encourage you first to listen to it get it drilled into your head I started talking about the rest of this side because then it goes into their long extended one of the epics suppers ready that is has got some beautiful um, melodies and and vocal parts and stuff stuff in there so uh, of course the rest of Genesis stuff doesn't sound much like this but it's sort of like a mood for a day and Steve Howe and even D got that one Randy Rhodes songs that just uh, kind of stand out because the the band lets the guitar players shine so tablature two pages we'll talk a little bit about harmonics and good harmonic technique We'll talk about right hand fingering, left hand fingering, and all of the stuff, but you can take a look at the tab and you can probably figure a lot of this out, but I'll walk you through it uh, measure by measure over the next couple of sections. Horizons. There are a couple of techniques that are really important in this song that I want to talk about first, then we'll get into breaking it down measure by measure. Um, one is harmonics and getting good sound out of the harmonics. So here's, I'm at the seventh fret of the sixth string on my guitar and to get that harmonic nice and clean I need to make sure that I'm right above the fret not behind the fret where you would be normally so so the harmonic part in this song we're gonna play with your first finger playing the harmonics at the seventh fret as they happen and then harmonics at the twelfth fret played with your third finger and again very important that your thing your finger is perfectly parallel to the fret not like this and right above the fret meaning you know <laughs> not behind the fret where you would press down for the notes. So left hand finger placement for those harmonics is really important. So that little harmonic part could be played like this, the way I played it in, in the playthrough, using my thumb on my right hand for the seventh fret there, and then my thumb again, and index and middle fingers for the three at the twelfth fret, then alternating my thumb back to the fifth string, index finger, thumb index. Later on we have a few other harmonics. Just striking them like, well, like you saw me do there. Now, Steve does something really interesting, and this is why I wanted to get, to get a close-up in here. And you can choose to mess with this, or you don't have to. When he plays the first four harmonics at the very beginning of the song, he uses his index finger, puts his thumb and his index finger together, almost like I would call what I would say the invisible pick technique, but uses his index finger to strike them as a down and even as an up. So he's using his thumb to support his index finger, but essentially going down, down here and then up here, using his index finger to hit both directions. Then for the last ones, he does uh, goes into normal alternating picking using the thumb and index independently.